good. Everything looks good. <laughs> of course, you make the stupidest faces. Are we live? I can't tell. Oh, Ooh, we're live. Oh, we're you live. see us live? Hi. Oh, I don't know. It says live here. Hello, everybody. Oh, there we are now. We are live. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good morning. We're back. We're back. Good morning. It feels like a lifetime. Well, you've been a busy girl this last, what is it, month and a Two half? Weeks? Yes. Well, you know, when it rains, it pours. It so. does. It's just we in time to... because things might be ramping up again. <gasps> right? <laughs> right? It's freaking. Yes, it is what it is. <laughs> so what can we do with it? <laughs> oh, well. Right? Oh, well. Anyways, anyways yeah. I'm going to share this to my page. To mm -hmm. my page. Hello. So we have a few things coming up this month. I know we were just trying to figure out exactly what we were um, going to talk about this morning. What are we doing uh, but, with our lives? What are we yeah. trying to yeah, no. Yes, what we're doing this month, because it's a big pivotal month, I think. It's a, it's a big month. As, as the seasons change, as normally uh, you would do, a, a, and you just uh started your fall cleanse which is amazing yeah the first session of it because i've got session. two sessions actually going on so, and yeah. so that's just in, that's incredible um i've been plugging away at my hormone academy getting that uploaded i've if you haven't joined the wise divine women's private group or actually it's a public group but the, my group my wise divine women i have my first month loaded so we'll talk about that today as well like just talk about um how to eat for hormone health what does it actually mean um and uh and then this month for myself is breast health awareness yes yes right? actually we can talk about that a little bit i actually i had a bit of an experience um yes. and it's very very important because i know i mean everything that you do is is so very relatable to i don't know it just seems to be so relatable everything that i'm going through at the moment um, so let's see, Breast Health Month, it's October, uh, let me think now, April, so uh, 2011, mm -hmm. I got married. A month after I got married, I found a, like, like a Werther's size lump in my breast, mm -hmm. and I had to have it uh, removed. It was a um, fibrocystic lump. And, um, and a few other little spots at the time when they went in, they didn't see it, but they saw them when they were there. So they, they grabbed those as well too. Everything's fine. It was a little traumatic because at the same time my puppy had died and it was, it was a big, big thing. Anyways, Oof, so yes. fast forward. Lots of things, lots of you things. Know, because it was the time that it was or whatever, it took a period of about nine months for me to get results back and, um, you know, the whole process of when I was going to be scheduled in to get this lumpectomy and everything else. It was a very stressful time. And stress is one mm. thing that I talked about a lot in the last couple of months, uh, because I find that stress can eat away at you and, and just make your life just a living hell for a lot of people. Um, it did me anyways, and it, it affect me on many, many levels. And I didn't have anybody to turn to and um, it's not something that, you know, as, as good as husbands can be or your partners can be, it's just not the same. Like I didn't have a girlfriend that I could turn to. I didn't mm -hmm. have somebody that I could talk to like you who has all this information. Um, and it was just like, a, it was just, a, I ended up gaining a lot of weight. It was just a bad, bad time anyways. So everything worked out good. And, and you know, I, I dove into a lot of holistic things because of that. Um, after that, mm -hmm. uh, fast forward to, um, what was it? Just the other day, last two, a week ago, Friday, mm -hmm. went to the, um, uh, had an ultrasound. I, I opt out, it's a personal decision. I opt out of mammograms because I, I find them very invasive and I don't want that extra radiation in my life, but that's just a personal choice. This is not me professing anything because, um, you know, all tools working together um, right. are very, very good. 
um, we have done thermography together mm -hmm. and we, I, I thought we, we saw a lot of inflammation, um, but nothing really specific. So my doctor is very open and um, loving and uh, understands my perspective on things and, you know, was very uh, forthcoming and being able to just, you know, opt out on the mammogram right away, ran in to do an ultrasound. So I went in to do an ultrasound and the girl was really, really wonderful and, and very precise, saw a little bit of shadow. And uh, I said, well, ooh, I don't know, it's just a shadow. It could be nothing. It's just, you know, whatever. Um, but again, my wheels started turning and it was yep. just, you know, one of those things that you just like, oh, and, and I know with myself, when the wheels start turning, if I sit in it too long, then, then it really just spirals. Correct. Um, I, I kind of had a feeling in my gut that it was more scar tissue than anything because, because they were looking at the same spot that they had dove in to find uh, some, some little lumps the last time and uh, um, took them out. So I'm just thinking in my gut, it said, just scar tissue, just scar tissue. But I had the same uh, lumpectomy surgeon or whatever he, 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 uh, technician, I don't know what he was, a doctor anyways, um, say, you know, maybe we should look at it just in case. So I said, okay, fine. You know, so I went in, took it out and it came out fine and, and, and perfectly okay. Uh, but it was just really, it really just got me back to thinking about the whole stress situation because I had my girlfriends, they were uh -huh. talking to me, you included. We're talking about, are you okay, Wendy? You know, and when you tell somebody, they they just they don't know what to say to you. They they just like, oh, and they just kind of sit there, and and that's okay because we want to give our our girlfriends, our our sisters, um, uh, space to be wherever they are in a situation. But at the same time, I knew that if I stress too much about stuff, mm -hmm. that that could possibly just dive right into a lot of other health issues within my life. Um, so, and I was talking to another girlfriend of mine and, and I, I said, you know, stress is going to cause me to be more, um, uh, going to cause me more illness than not stressing. I mean, because I didn't know at the time and it was only a week before I got the results this time. So it was really kind of nice. But, um, you know, why stress about something that um, you have no answers to mm -hmm. and, and until you have the time and you know the answers and then stress about it then if you need to. But definitely walking through that journey again was is was a bit of an eye opener again. And I found that I was totally different because as you know more, you do better. Like, what is the saying? As when you do, when you know better, you do better. Yes. And I found that this was uh, very, very poignant within this whole scheme of things that we are trying to do because we are trying to educate. Um, right. And especially when it comes to women's health, hormones, breast health, specifically coming up uh, this month with October. Uh, we really want to be vigilant in that and, and know that everybody can, and I'm saying everybody, go to Dana. <laughs> she's your girl because you want to have somebody that can really, you know, talk you, talk you off of the ledge, talk bring you, you the down ledge. to a yep. place that you, yep. you can be very um, clear minded about your next steps right. and, and understanding what it is that you need to do. So mm -hmm. long story short. Go see you, Dana. <laughs> She's your girl. <laughs> I've had um, some absolutely incredible talks with some women um, doing their their follow up calls for the thermography in New Jersey, um, and they have been diagnosed with cancer, but they wanted to um, sort of take a look at things because they're they're from a little more of a holistic aspect, right? And in in sort of my philosophy. It doesn't, you know, yes, your choices are your choices and I honor those choices and I encourage any choice that any of my clients make, which is, you know, fabulous, but you need to pause and reflect. You need to understand that your body needs to heal regardless. And I had that discussion with her. I'm like, you can, you can choose to do whatever path you wish to choose. Go in it with, 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 um, 
with the thought that you need to uh, prepare your body, you need to heal your body, you haven't changed your diet, you haven't addressed your stress, you haven't um, really looked at the health of your gut, um, you haven't looked at your inflammation of the body, because that can be uh, where the sort of root of things, not the root of things can come from, but it certainly doesn't help the body with trying to, right, with when you're understanding um, the stress, you know, you've got your sympathetic, parasympathetic systems fighting for the energy of your body, the vitality of your body to heal different things. So, you know, I always uh, refer to the breasts as just being the cherries on top, and it's a reflection of what's happening within the body. Oh, yeah. And it is a, um, you know, fourfold sort of aspect of things, what's happening mentally, what's happening physically to your body, what going into your body and uh, what activities are you actually doing? Are you, are you stagnant? So these are really fantastic discussions I have with my clients, regardless of their choice. I think it's fantastic. And you need to be understand and, and step back for a minute and breathe for a minute, you know, like, yes, you, you've received a cancer diagnosis. Okay, great. That's perfect. They've given you something to work with. Yes. And um, because it's always, you need to have that answer of yes or no, so that your mind stops spiraling out of control. And it's so that it's that understanding of, okay, great. Let me just pause. Let me just understand that. And where can I improve my health to make this process work better? How, you know, or uh, so the technology today is, is fantastic. And I think the procedures have changed quite a bit and, and those types of things, but like, like for yourself, we spoke last time you had your thermography, you've not done any scar tissue work. You didn't do any massage. You didn't dry brush. You haven't addressed it. Well, well, that some. was, no, no, no. Oh. But that was then that's when we oh, first yeah, did it. Remember that. last year. So yeah. we discussed those things mm-hmm. and you've changed things twofold. Mm-hmm. Right. But again, it's that scar tissue aspect. So many women don't um, realize that it, it would be a, at their best advantage to find someone to do lymphatic work in the breast through the scar to help the flow of the lymphatic system and help the circulatory system flow better. I mean, the body is just absolutely miraculous Mm -hmm. and it will reroute itself, right? Which is fantastic. Even with Deanna's brain cancer, they remove piece of the brain, but it still reroute itself. And she taught herself how to write again. So super uh, incredible our bodies to be honest so with uh, breast health awareness month and I love talking about breast health awareness and I talk it's not just this month but why not I always talk about breast health um yeah because we're not only women in October yeah <laughs> we're, we're women all the time all year round. 24 we have boobs 7. all year round <laughs> true we do funny but um yeah so i mean i have my touch your tatas program coming up um and i'll i'll set that date up today and trying to squeeze it into my schedule i'm in ottawa this this month i'm in uh north bay at the end of the month i think i'll be in haleberry the first of november because this month has been really this month is crazy because we have thanksgiving in the middle of it right yeah and I'd like to go see my family. And uh, then I'm in then I'm in the Ottawa region. But I'm here in Sudbury uh, imaging on Mondays. So I'll get that scheduled as well. So honestly, taking a look, like even just doing a breast imaging um, and understanding a bit of the health differently, especially if you have dense breasts um, or you have scar tissue, um, a lot of women use it as part of an adjunctive program it does not replace mammograms like if you have an issue you're going to want the tests right you're going to want to do blood work you're going to want to do all these great things but look at the physiology or look at the the temperature and the patterns of the breast gives you an understanding of do you need to pay more attention to your gut do you need to pay more attention to the liver? Now, the breast study just talks about the breast and perhaps the thyroid. And we do talk about the upper back because the spine in the upper back, in the upper thorax, um, houses the nervous system for everything that, that kind of comes around. The uh, wellness study, the women's wellness study, encompasses everything from here to the gut. And I do, and I do talk about that a lot. Uh, we talk about dental health, liver health, gut health, right? Your spine, thyroid 
things like that. So those are all things that we dig into in the Touch Your Tatas program and in the transformation program that I have as well, where I work with you one-on-one. -on -one. But, oh my gosh, it's just, it's just so amazing to be able, I appreciate being part of women's lives and offering them insight, right? I think it's, I have honestly so much fun so with it yeah it, it it's, it's actually it's a very much of a privilege for people to allow others into their lives their private little bubbles you know yes. um i got to see a lot of that when i was nursing and doing a lot of the palliative care um being able to be present for some pretty big things that go people go through it is it's an honor to be honest. Um, and with you as well, doing that uh, work with women is just, well, I say women, but I, my, in my head, I'm going through that, you know, women are not the only people that have breasts, no. you know? Yep. Men too. So, like men. so many men. Um, the, the one woman, she was like, well, I, I have the BRCA gene. That's why I'm going to you know do this a bit differently. Cause I do mammograms all the time and I'm a little concerned. So I'm like, perfect, you know, and then we'll talk about it. And then you continue the program that you choose to, to, to do. Yeah. But she goes, well, my husband has tested positive for the BRCA gene from his family. And I'm like, wow. well, why isn't he here? Why do you not have him doing thermography? Men are fantastic at thermography because they internalize Mm -hmm. they're very much they internalize everything and they don't like to express themselves and that's because men aren't supposed to talk about it so it allows them the freedom to look at the body look at their inflammation look at the cardiovascular health it, it's phenomenal and lately it's been a, a great opportunity actually to speak to practitioners as well so we uh, and 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 talking to them as their clients are sending their reports to them then then um Sharon gets the opportunity to talk with them one on one. And Sharon is the owner of Thermography Medical Clinic. So, and she's the interpreter uh, for, for my imaging, for our imaging across Ontario. But some lucky people across the world get to have her as well. So, oh, nice. she's super busy. Um, but it's, uh, it's phenomenal to be part of their people's healing journey. Hey, Wendy, I think that's one of the reasons we, we love doing this because it's, it's a, it's truly a blessing to be yeah. on and, and it's help and encourage people on their healing journey. So. Oh, most definitely. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that may not understand this so much, but from our perspective, I mean, I can, I can, uh, you know, confidently say that you and I are both what is categorized as healers um you know we don't place hands on people and you know do miraculous things mind you but the type of person the archetype or whatever that we uh embody are healers i mean a lot of people i know <laughs> i wanted my kids to go into medicine but they're like oh god mom ooh, how can you do that you know there's yeah, a mine, type of mine all that, pass out at needles yeah. so <laughs> there's a type of person that we are and it's not something that you go into to think, oh, this is going to be a cool job. I'm going to make tons of money. It is, it's a calling. It's, it's a passion that we have to be able to offer people the opportunity to be the most healthy that they can be. And we have that skill. We have that ability to offer people options and um, a, a different way of looking at things and, you know, and, and the support. That's the one thing I wanted to actually say is, um, if there are people or women specifically that you are going through something like this, you're kind of scared, you're kind of upset, please. This is the one thing that, that was my biggest mistake uh, the first time around was to reach out to anybody. If you can't and don't have anybody, reach out to Dana, reach out to mm -hmm. myself, reach out to mm -hmm. somebody because uh, you need support. You need somebody to talk to. You need somebody to hold that space for you. You need somebody to... If, if we could, you know, sit with and hold your hand. Um, these are, this is so, so very important. It is super important. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Makes no, me cry no. how it does. important it is. Because it's, it's, you're, it you're so passionate about it. And this yeah. is, this is what, you know, you've set your, your life up for. And you've been this for a while. You've been a nurse. So it's, it's like, this is part of your journey and, and such. But for me, it's been that um, 
recognizing that that sort of missing link to things and being able to step in. And I certainly enjoyed my time um, with Deanna during her last month and being able to be that, to be there, that person, to hold that space. And, and I hope to uh, do that again and reciprocate that um, that opportunity for others. But it's, um, yeah, it's just been so amazing. What an incredible um, journey this month has been, right? Like I stepped yeah. away uh, for a bit in, in August just to uh, spend time with my husband and family and try and gracefully run through this menopause crap no <laughs> you have to be careful <laughs> your mind just kind of goes mm. right so remember what you told me it's symptoms it's not something you have to go through <laughs> absolutely and, and you're no, like, shut it, up yeah. wendy <laughs> yeah yeah i love you but <laughs> no and i think that it's it's certainly um I could tell you that this has been a whole, August was a great experiment with my health. <laughs> I did it on purpose. No, no, it's been good. It's been a good recognizing of what uh, foods I should not be eating, um, alcohol I should not be drinking, people I should not be around so much, and <laughs> how important it is to, well, I think COVID did that for a lot of people too. Uh, making sure that you're making time for yourself and setting good boundaries and loving the ones that you have the closest to you deeply and um, just bugging the hell out of your kids. I think that's the biggest pleasure, really. <laughs> being that mom, being that hot mess mama who's <laughs> making their kids crazy. Oh, I wish I would have stuck with the TikTok. That would have been great. <laughs> they would have just shaken their, mom, stop. <laughs> Still have that opportunity. Off with the TikTok now. Or is it is it been banned now? I heard. I don't know. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I thought it was great. That's okay. Wait till I start Body Groove. I'll be dancing <laughs> around all the time. No, I don't know. I want to do. Have you seen Body Groove? No. Oh, you have to. Now that I've said it, you will see it on your Facebook. Probably, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the Facebook uh, uh, Big Brothers are watching, so you know they all they hear all, see all. <laughs> So body groups, this is this dancer who used to teach dance and um, now she teaches freestyle, like I want to just say freestyle, but it's for health, right? So uh, it's called body groove and uh, it's a, a membership, but it's, um, oh, is it? yeah, so every day you would learn a new dance or things like that, but it gets you moving. And I say that when I'm talking with women and we're talking about what strategies they're using to for stress relief or what strategies are they using for exercise? Because um, not everybody likes to run 5K. And <laughs> really? Yeah, just saying. <laughs> I can walk 5K. The dog doesn't like to, but I do. Yeah, and have to carry um, <laughs> yeah, she's always like, okay, enough. But um and then I don't, I used to do CrossFit. I've tried CrossFit, but. Unless I have somebody to do it with CrossFit, I just, or hit. I nearly That's, killed myself. I yeah. killed myself. But, um, and then uh, I do have to do some strength training because my husband still thinks I can lift 150 pounds. So I have to start doing some more strength training. But so <laughs> I talked to women about you know, um, what do they gravitate towards? So kickboxing is one of those really great. So I think oh, October is a great month. I think everyone's got some great stuff going on. There are some great classes that are opening up right now because you're allowed to have so many people, but everyone is still doing that online thing. So, you know, you've got some great opportunities for Pilates. Moteus has actually released, she'll release some new online stuff. Um, and Moteus is downtown here with Janine, Janine Saunders. Um, and then she has some other stuff in smaller classes, one-on-one. -on -one. There's Pilates. Like if you've never tried Pilates, that's fantastic. Uh, there is some kickboxing and martial arts stuff. And I say, you know, when you're talking with people who are holding or digest, not, you know, really holding on to things and they really have some issues or I see them clenching a lot, I say, you know, yeah. maybe you need to punch people. So Terry, try kickboxing. Yeah. I, and they always kickboxing laugh. Kickboxing was amazing. It's like yeah. therapy without having to talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, honestly, this, yeah. if you, if you really are getting angry and you're holding a lot of anger, please go box. 
yeah. go do something like that. And I think Top Glove probably has some fitness classes as well. But um, so Body Groove is just this amazing, uh, just dancing around the kitchen, learning how to be more fluid. Uh, Zumba's online. Like if you love, I'm pretty good at it, but I'm not that good at it which was superbly surprising. I, yeah, but when you do it in the kitchen, it doesn't matter. Nobody can big, see you. Big confession. That's why I like the darkness of Zumba classes. Yeah. You can yeah. sit in the back and nobody knows. I you loved have it. no rhythm whatsoever. I, I, I thought I had rhythm. <laughs> it's menopause. Maybe that was just, just no, no, I'll believe it that I was sober and not on having tequila, <laughs> that I had no rhythm. Oh, you had rhythm when you're drunk. That's it. Okay. <laughs> no, my we brother would, my brother would say, um, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't have rhythm. So I miss dancing with my brother. Oh my gosh. He is such a good dancer. He is such a good dancer, but someday when he's, when he's nice enough to me to let me dance with him again, we'll see. We'll have to get him to the wedding. Who's going to get married? We'll all go dancing. There you go. You need a wedding. Get one of your kids married. <laughs> no. How much fun is that to have 10 people at a wedding? Well, oh, that's right, be. too. Yeah. Right. Actually, well, I it's hard to say two weeks ago, but yeah. yeah. So, but I mean, it's, it's these COVID numbers are very strange. It's, it's like, okay, if it's an organized event, so that's what it says unorganized. If it's an unorganized, if you're reading the, the regulations, it's an unorganized event inside 10 and, and 25 outside unorganized. Anything more than that, then you have fines if they find you, right? Well, $10, so, listen, fine. so I mean, anybody can well, turn around and say, well, I sent out a, invitation, so it was organized. I know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you have uh, uh, one of our neighbors or on the lake. you can call it recess, apparently. <laughs> going to what? Recess? Okay, folks, we're having a recess. Well, you have more than 10 kids outside at recess at a time. Mm. True. But, uh, yeah, our friends in... Uh, Naughty, down in Hamilton <laughs> in Hamilton she had 200 for her wedding and now she's down to 15 15 she, 15 and she can't get the deposit back from the hotel oh that's that's not nice well that's I don't know hotel's got to survive too I guess but I suppose but so she's having 15 15 people and and she can have more at the wedding itself but there's 15 at the at the dinner shows there's going to be many courses no many kidding. courses of food <laughs> bring your fat pants <laughs> and a doggy bag and a doggy bag <laughs> i'm just like wow i guess so they'll have champagne they'll have shots they'll have a round they'll have some food they'll go dancing Everybody have some more food. Out. oh my goodness i can't even imagine but. <laughs> So as you were talking, so, so I, yes, I have my Touch Your Tatas program. Um, this month, I'm going to be talking about uh, breast health and or body health, one or the other. And, and, and honestly, get in to do a thermography that gives you a different perspective of understanding your health uh, differently, right, from that stress mm -hmm. advantage or from that um, physical sort of heat temperature pattern. Um, thermographymedicalclinic.com, go to my Facebook page or, or look for those types of things. Your touch your tatas will be um, online today. So sign up for that. There is a nominal fee. And then I have my Wise Divine Woman Hormone Academy where some hot mess mamas all meet together and, a, and uh, we all talk about hormone health and how that benefits you and um, meal planning and eating better for your health, not only hormonally, but for longevity as well. But you have some fantastic, what was that red drink? Is that elderberry? Is that what you had on there? Uh, cranberry, actually. Cranberry. So yes. I took uh, your premise with that, Grab some palm juice oh, so not yesterday. Yeah. So I'm going to start today with as many glasses of palm, just an uh, ounce, half an ounce per glass yeah. and, um, and do that. But you have this great inner strength program building your inner, <laughs> inner strength. strength yes we are protecting ourselves protecting this month our, yes <laughs> i have a, a lot of different themes basically i've kind of really tried to really focus in a lot instead of being scattered all over so because you can't say immune 
no, you can't say immune boosting. They don't can't like say immune boosting. So, you know, now that the, the Facebook gods are listening anyways, or Google gods, but anyways, uh, this month we are protecting ourselves with, um, and from, because we are kind of going into that cold and flu season. And we have that other one, that other one that's looming in the background all over the place. So we really want to really try to strengthen ourselves up quite a bit. So this month we are talking about everything that we can do to do that. I have the second session of the our detox, our whole foods cleanse coming up right after Thanksgiving. So the 13th, I think it is of um, October. Yep. Mm -hmm. The 13th is a Tuesday. So you can still have your Thanksgiving dinner and not worry about it. Uh, but I mean, if you sign up early, you do get um, a whole recipe booklet full of Thanksgiving recipes that you can incorporate into your dinner that are fabulous, but also very, very healthy for you. And you don't have to tell anybody that they're healthy because they just look so yummy and great. Um, but we're all ta we're talking about different ways that we can just incorporate really good foods into our life and um, joyful movement, like dancing, that things that make us smile, that mm -hmm. relieve stress, that warms our insides physically, emotionally, um, uh, spiritually, everything that we need to really boost our health, uh, boost ourselves up uh, to be the best that we can so we can fight, so we can fight on a, a very physical level to you know keep ourselves and everybody around us healthy you know there's going to be people around us that are not going to be quite as healthy as 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 us and we want to be make sure that um we keep ourselves as healthy as possible so that when we go to visit and have these gatherings and 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 you know lower that curve again and all these things that we can really um, do it quite naturally and keep ourselves as um, fit as possible. So the detox later this month, I'm going through mine and we'll probably just continue it as we go into the uh, two weeks from now. I'm just looking down my calendar uh, going into the next two, three weeks. And it'll wrap up, let's see here, um, right at Halloween, basically. Uh, so you can enjoy a few treats <laughs> at Halloween. But, you know, incorporating things like cranberry, I put a couple of recipes up on my blog there today um, with regards mm -hmm. to a cranberry flush. And I use concentrated cranberry juice, not like the ocean spray stuff. That stuff is, is just too much water, sugar, sugar yeah. and water. Yeah. Yeah. You get yourself um, cranberry concentrate. You get, um, it's not even just concentrate, it's just pure juice, uh, pure tart cherry juice, uh, pure pomegranate juice, all these wonderful um, um, red juices that have those anthocyanins in the, that we talked about last week that give it that wonderful uh, vitamin C boost. Elderberry is another one because you're gonna get a lot of really wonderful vitamin C properties mm -hmm. with that too. I think um, you can find, can you find frozen elderberries? I don't know about that, but I know there's a drink, there's a concentrated, I think it has too much sugar in it, mind you, but it's a, a Vogel um, concentrated elderberry. It probably syrup. does, that's a Ribena. Yeah, okay, Ribena does, okay. I like Ribena, but it has sugar mm -hmm. in it too though. But anyways, <clears throat> yeah, you use that kind of on a medicinal way. And I keep a big bottle of it in my fridge and, and just use like two tablespoons or um, two yeah, tablespoons in um, a glass of water. And it mm -hmm. just, it's really, it, it, yeah, it's a really good boost anyways. So there's that. Let's see. There's um, uh, if just you're a juicing, regular. If you're juicing, you can add cranberries to your Oh, yeah. Juice oh, yeah, well, for so. sure. I always have... Um, frozen cranberries in my freezer I don't know why but always do always those thoughts of baking making yeah. your own cranberry <laughs> sauce but. uh turmeric uh lattes things like that you want a, your golden milks uh ginger is a really good one for uh boosting your strength um anything with garlic all my Italians out there <laughs> and non-Italians that just love Italian food, throw in as much garlic as you can right now. Um, if you really want to get around mm -hmm. to doing some um, very conscious, you can take uh, garlic supplements that don't give you that uh, reef, that reef, yep. re um, uh, 
make you smell like garlic all the time. Like there's odorless garlic that you can take to really get the benefits of garlic, but not the smell. Uh, you can even make garlic tea if you want. I think they make it during the garlic festival in Sudbury, um, garlic ice cream, everything. Um, but you just, you know, garlic, uh, ginger, turmeric, um, ginger, you think more of a ginger as being something just to soothe the stomach. But when you are soothing the stomach, you're also allowing the absorption of minerals and vitamins and nutrients uh, to be absorbed properly mm-hmm. because when you're gut is irritated it's just going to either shut right down or it's going to loosen up and you're just going to lose everything either way you're not getting what you need so when we say ginger uh, it really gives that um, soothing benefits and healing benefits to the gut so you can take in the extra vitamin c so you can take in the extra vitamins and minerals and nutrients that you need from your um, the phytonutrients from the plants and um, and food that you're taking in to make you feel and protect yourself better. And plus, mm-hmm. and, and the other thing is um, take a probiotic. I don't care the brand. I don't mm-hmm. care the where you get it, whether it's shelf stable or fridge stable or, or whether you're just eating fermented foods, just get one in. I don't care. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> and um, that is going to give you a really good basis. So we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be talking a lot about that this whole month. And um, yeah, getting into a whole foods cleanse is going to be one of the best ways to allow your body just to relax a little bit, allow the liver to do the job that it needs to do to detoxify you and allow the, you know, once the liver is doing what it needs to do, it allows the rest mm-hmm. of the organs to do the things that they need to do to keep the immune system boosted. Right, right. But uh, so we, I know you talk about Biomed, uh, some yeah. supplements. I talk about Solenda and Rekick mm-hmm. from Soul Life. But we also talk about Juice Plus as a foundational yeah. um supplement to get all your fruits and vegetables in for the day, yeah. right? And all your antioxidants and stuff like that. So t- tonight, um, they, we have a very dear friend, Angela Ramos and Annie Johnson, um, who is currently uh, has breast cancer and she is just rocking at, um, at just overcoming and her numbers and everything. So they want to talk about that tonight. So if you're interested in hearing um, a breast cancer uh, story it's a success so far right so and uh how angela her coach um and we all kind of and you've done the same coaching as angela has done so you know exactly what what she does and what she talks about but on how they have incorporated in the protocol that they're doing with juice plus for that and i am just really looking forward to it it is going to be a phenomenal um little webinar so if you're interested to learn about whole foods uh juice plus and cancer let yeah. us know yeah we'll, we'll get you the uh the the, the link DM, the yeah dm you the link uh, i think both of us have shared it the the page um mm-hmm. but if you need the password let us know so uh, we're i'm really looking forward to that this oh week. yeah there's, annie is super sweet like yeah. she's done thermography with us um Angela's done thermography with me as well. And um, it is, I think, a, a really incredible opportunity to, to, to look at health just a bit different. I think. Yeah. And give yourself a fighting chance. Again, coming back to that immune. Um, I know I, I just heard a little bit about what they're talking about. I know as a holistic cancer practitioner mm-hmm. myself, the same as Angela, that um incorporating antioxidants into your life during um, chemotherapy specifically can you do miraculous things i mean it it um you'll have to listen to the story to hear it but from what i'm understanding that um her doctors uh, annie's doctors are not even they're just like wow they're shaking their heads at at the wonderful numbers that she's producing because of her incorporation with uh juice plus products so yeah please 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 i'll put the link and you guys can uh, connect with us and we will 
connect you to this fabulous uh, webinar mm -hmm. that's going on tonight. It's free. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it'll last, but I don't think it'll last too, too long. I think it starts at nine tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be a replay, but I'm sure there's going to be an amazing amount of people that want to watch this. So I'm sure there might be a replay that goes along with it. But um, yeah, definitely something I'm looking forward to. I'm setting my alarm because nine o'clock's late for me. But <laughs> <laughs> but I'm I'm definitely gonna you know put my pajamas nine on. Nine o'clock is that time to squeeze in people from Eastern North America oh, yes, yes. and Western North America, right? Because mm -hmm. Juice Plus is not just Canada; is actually a worldwide. Global. And yeah. I know that uh, many of the um, the people that that follow Angela or that know Annie are from all over the world. And I think they were trying to pick just a time that worked with everybody. Yeah. So yeah. And that being said, I thank you so much for reminding us. I forgot about that, to, but I wanted to talk about uh, that as well. Um, I'm trying to tr convince Dana to uh, join me in a very kind of big adventure starting November. And I'm going to, you know, drip out some information about it over the next month and we'll see how into it Dana wants to be but I'm hoping that a lot of everybody else will want to join us as well Dana and I yeah well at least me anyways I really want to ramp things up specifically um, for my own health and, and Dana's too and um, just get busy and, and that's all I'm going to say so so people that are going to be interested, listen to us for the next month, at least. Um, like I said, so we're, I'm thinking that maybe November, we're going to start something really, really big. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Every day is a big day. Yeah. So yeah, sure. yeah. it's a matter of, of not only practicing what we preach, but actually following through with it. So you know, doing incorporating meditation time, incorporating for myself, dry brushing. I dry brushed my, I haven't spent that much time by myself and in the shower. Oh, it was excellent. Um, dry brushing and, and um, just doing what we're supposed to be doing. So, yeah. And, and now I need more pomegranate yeah. water. So mm -hmm. super excited about all the things that are going to be happening this week and this month. So, busy, busy, always busy. busy. Love Thank it, you though. so much for joining us. I know we yeah. kind of went on, but we haven't talked in a long time and I miss Wendy. <laughs> so, um, and I miss all of you as well. And if you have questions, message uh, Wendy or myself, you can schedule yourself a soul session. I'm in office all week uh, or home office all week and answering uh, phone calls. And um, I, thanks guys. I look yeah. forward to chatting with everybody. Yes. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks. Take care. Bye. Bye.